All right, you guys, so I did this same video concept last year and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So we're gonna do it again and see how it goes this year. So let's roll that intro and get right into the brands that I wanna manifest in 2023. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark, though I do also sell on Depop. I made a Mercari sale today, which hasn't happened in months since I want to say June, July, probably, if not um, further back than that. And I do have a booth um, currently at a local antique mall. And like I said in the intro, I did this video last year. It was towards the end of the year, I wanna say within the last day or two of 2021. Um, and I talked about the brands that I wanted to manifest to sell um, in my online stores um, for 2022. I had five brands that I had already found that I wanted to find again in 2022 and five that I had never found before that I wanted to find in 2022. So I'm going to do the same this year. This year I do have one bonus one, um, but let's first talk about what I wanted to manifest this year um, and see if I actually did that or if I didn't. Um, I tried for this video concept and it was the same last year as well um, i tried to leave like super luxury designers off the list because everybody wants to find those i mean those are like the holy grails um, i'm wearing a bootleg gucci tee right now with rick flair but you know i kind of wanted to make it a little bit more realistic if that makes sense so let's go Okay, so for the brands I had found previously um, that I wanted to find this year, the first is Aviator Nation. I'll be putting up the logos on the screen somewhere when I'm doing my editing, same as I did last year. Um, I had found a couple pieces last year, I think three or four, uh, around the same time within the same few weeks and it was towards the end of the year none of them had sold yet at that point um, but i did sell them all pretty quickly in 2022 when i finally got around to listing them they all sold i want to say either a hundred dollars or more or close to it i think maybe the sweatpants sold around 80 i can't honestly remember um, and a lot of them sell on ebay for me and i can't go back that far um just the way i record my numbers but anyways i didn't find any unfortunately this year i did source some on poshmark i had some credits um, from poshmark when they were doing more of like the posh campaigns and i took full advantage of those they were giving out like 15 dollars every day and so i was racking up credits and i used those to buy a couple av pieces they were just t-shirts um, but they still sold over 50 dollars each one um, so that was great for me, but I don't count that because I didn't find it out in the wild or get it in a thread up box, which will come up in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, sad that I didn't find any of those. I was thrifting with a friend though this year, um, who did find an Aviator Nation piece. So I was a little bit jealous, um, but it is what it is. I found a few of those and I made pretty good profit off of them. Would I love to find them again? of course um, but no i didn't put any of the same brands um, into this year's list next is rothy's um so i'm happy to say i did find rothy's this year um rothy's last year was the first time i ever found rothy's i had gotten them in one thread up box in 2021 and then i found like one or two pairs in the thrift stores and that was the first time i'd ever come across rothy's um, and this year I thrifted one pair. I got another pair in a different thread up shoe box. And then I also got a, a pair of brand new replacement insoles for Rothy's in a thread up fun box. So I've gotten three Rothy's products um, this year and all have sold. Next is Good American. And if you watched my naughty and nice list, which was the first video for this year's Vlogmas series, you guys would have seen that that was on my nice list this year. So yes, I did find quite a bit of Good American this year. Um, last year, um, I hadn't 
only found it I think a couple times and I hadn't sold any yet so this was the first year that I was able to actually start to sell those pieces I have four pieces left to sell that I have sourced this year and nine pieces that I have sold in 2022 a couple of those again were from 2021 but the rest of those were sourced and sold this year next is Peloton um, so I actually just sold a piece you would have seen that I think this video is going up after that one Can't remember but my November sales recap um, Where I talk about my sales $40 and up on Poshmark and eBay for the month There is a piece of Peloton in there. So again, yes, I did find this I sold seven pieces of Peloton in 2022 Some of them were collabs. I sold a Nike and Peloton sports bra that went for a really decent price um, I also sold Title IX in Peloton. I've sold Beyond Yoga in Peloton. So a lot of the Peloton I'm picking up is branded with a different activewear company um, versus just, you know, Peloton merch that you can buy straight from their website. So keep that in mind when you're out there. If you find a different brand that has the Peloton logo on it, it will still go for a good price. Um, sadly though, I did not find any cycling shoes. Uh, I had found two last year that sold for over $75 a piece. Uh, there was actually a third pair in that store at the time, but someone else had snagged those. I guess maybe I didn't see them when I found the other two because the other two were like on one end of the um, shoe aisle. So I happened to spot those quicker. But yeah, sadly, none of those, but I'm still happy to pick up Peloton and flip it really quick. And last for the brands that I had previously found um, that I wanted to manifest again this year, Johnny Was. If you've watched any of my videos lately, you've you'll know that I've picked up quite a few pieces of Johnny Was in the last few months and I would definitely love to keep that going. I sold five in 2022. Uh, I just sold one in November. I just, no, I sold one in December. So you guys will see that um, in the December recap when that comes out in January. Um, I had sold in November though, you will see one. I sold a silk blouse that was flawed. It had a couple really small holes for $140 on Poshmark. So definitely a good brand to keep an eye out for. And I have two pieces still left to sell. Okay, so the brands I had never found before that I wanted to try and see if I could source this year. I am sad to say that I only found two of the five. The first one is Teeks. They have the elusive like teal colored soles. Still never found them. I look all the time, every time I'm in a thrift store and I see like a flat that's kind of curled up, I'm like, oh, is it Teeks, is it Teeks? No, it's usually Lucky Brand. Um, and I just get disappointed every time. So they still elude me. Also haven't found free birds. They make a lot of really nice, like distressed boots. I talked about this in last year's video. I found one single free bird boot in a bin. I'm assuming someone else found it also and then couldn't find its mate. And so they left it and, and then I picked it up and couldn't find its mate, but that was really depressing. And I've still never found them. Unfortunately, I do have a local friend though that found a pair like a week or two ago So I'm really excited for her, but I wish that I could find a pair too. Next is girlfriend uh, Girlfriend denim specifically. I think that's mostly what they're known for um, I haven't found any in the wild I did buy a pair from the real real and I will talk about that a little bit more in depth when I get that video done and out for you um, But I had some credits that I needed to use so I bought a pair of girlfriend denim jeans and they only ended up selling for I think $25 Again, I'm not counting this because I didn't find it in the wild I cheated and sourced it online just to see how it would do and honestly, I'm not impressed so I mean if I found it in a thrift store I would probably still pick it up for the right price, but I'm just not like excited To really find it just because that one pair that I got didn't do so well Next is Jelly Cat. This was the only one I had on this list that wasn't like a clothing or a shoe brand. This is specific to Plush. Um, it's a London company and I'm happy to say that I found two and sold both this year. One was a dragon, one was an elephant. Um, and there is a Plush. I talked about this in another video where I'm sharing some YouTube creators that I enjoy watching. And Chris, the Cajun reseller, 
found a jelly cat Fergus the frog and sold him for almost a thousand dollars 900 plus dollars for a plushie so they're definitely something to keep an eye out for obviously not all of them are gonna go for that much i think the dragon sold for 18 and the elephant sold for 20 or 22 so nothing crazy but it just i had never found it so i had heard such good things that i wanted to try it out and i tried it and i sold both so i have a 100 percent sell through rate with that brand and that's always good for me and the last one from last year's list is Lunya or Lunya. I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to be said. It is a sleepwear brand and the retail is pretty high for, you know, pajamas. Um, my friend, the one I talked about that found that uh, Aviator Nation in the same store that we were both at, um, he had found a couple pieces of Lunya um, in 2021 and that's what made me put it on the list. And I did find one this year unfortunately only one but i also don't look in the pajama section a lot um and this one happened to just be in the tops because i don't think the thrift store knew that it was a sleepwear brand and it was like a gray ribbed short sleeve and it sold pretty quick within a day or two on ebay for 50 dollars. so i would definitely love to find that brand again okay and let's get into the brands i want to manifest in 2023 I am big on manifestation. Every time I head into a thrift store, I repeat brands in my head. I don't know if you guys do this too. If you do, let me know down in the comments down below, but I repeat brands in my head that I wanna find. Like, oh, it'd be really cool if I found Johnny Was, or I'm, I really want a pair of good American jeans, something like that. Uh, I'm just using brands from this list because that's what's in my brain right now, but there are others that I cycle through um, and sometimes it really works. And so I firmly believe that you can manifest things in your life. So I'm hoping to, you know, put this out there into the universe. It's online and it's available for everyone. And so maybe the universe will hear this and will bring these items to me. Okay, so again, I'm gonna do five that I have previously found and five that I've never found. So let's start with the previously found first. All of these brands, all five, I've only found one other time in the past. Um, so I thought this was a good starting point for this year's list. The first one is Fjall Raven. I probably just butchered that. It's like a Swedish or Danish, one of those Nordic country brands. I found a jacket in 2019 towards the end of the year and then I went to Seattle on a vacation and I wore the jacket even though it was listed on Poshmark. I don't know if I was selling on eBay at the time. I think just barely. Um, so it was on Poshmark. I wore it on my trip in Seattle and it sold like towards the end of my trip. I was only there for a few days and then I shipped it out. It sold for I think a hundred and twenty dollars um and i want to say the thrift store priced it like fifteen dollars and under um so i'd be super excited to find something else i know they have the konkin backpack which is super popular i've never found one of those um if i did i probably would consider keeping it for myself to be honest so i would prefer to find some kind of outerwear they make you know tops kind of similar to patagonia also um and i would be happy to find any of that next is a bed stew these are kind of similar to the free birds um, where they're usually heavily distressed they look like they're old and beat up but that's just how they're made um, i found one pair of boots can't remember what i sold it for it was a few years ago when i was um, not working from home yet still at the same job but not working from home yet and it was the thrift store that was right near where my office at the time was and I was so excited to find them and they flipped really fast as well but they have not been around when I've been to the thrift stores in several years. Next is Skims um, and this is a Kardashian brand so Good American is Khloe Kardashian's brand and Skims is Kim Kardashian's brand I believe. I don't really have much feelings towards the Kardashian family to be honest, but I will gladly pick up their clothing and sell it. I know Kendall and Kylie have their own thing too. I've never picked that up to resell, but um, Skims, I found one pair of sweatpants. They were like a velour sweatpant and they sold fairly quickly on eBay for I wanna say 70 to $80. 
Um, I know they do like a lot of bras. It's a lot of like loungy intimates kind of stuff. At least that's what I've found anyway. So yeah, I would love to find that again. Next is Birdies. Um, this is a shoe brand. I don't know if they make anything else. I've only heard and seen from other resellers shoes. Um, I did find one pair. They were like a suede loafer and that's pretty much what they're known for. Kind of like a slip on loafer style shoe and they sold for $76 on Poshmark and I want to say they were around five or six dollars because the thrift had no idea what the hell they were. Uh, so definitely um, could use another 70 plus dollars for a pair of shoes. And the last one for this one, I was tossing between two different denim brands that are made specifically for fitness people, bodybuilders, things like that. Um, the other one that I didn't choose for this list was Fran Denim. I did find one this year and it sold for $76 for a pair of jeans. Um, they're made so that they are stretchy in all the right places so that you A, don't get that weird gap at the back of your waist. They accommodate, you know, bigger quads and a bigger booty. Um, and so people who are into fitness like to wear these. Um, the other brand that I did choose for this list is called Freddy. I found one new tag pair of jeans. Again, same, they're basically interchangeable. And uh, that pair sold for $98 on Posh. And both Fran Denim and Freddy were really fast flips. Um, so keep your eye out for those. Okay, the never found list. Again, I didn't want to repeat things, so these are all new. And I actually keep a running list of brands that I want to find. Um, this year, I had a couple things on my 2023 brand wish list that I've ended up finding this year. One was CP Shades. I found a CP Shades and Free People collab piece. Still hasn't sold, but I found it. Um, I found two Disney Spirit jerseys, again, neither one has sold but i found them those were on this list and then i just found last week lazy oaf um so i got to cross that one off as well so i didn't include any of those on here uh so the first on the never found list is magnolia pearl um they do sell some magnolia pearl on the free people website i was on there earlier today um, and they're known for using vintage fabrics and lace in their pieces um they're kind of like oversized almost like a lagging look type of feel in my opinion um, but their bras and tees go for well over a hundred dollars sweaters and denim can go for several hundreds of dollars dresses i would imagine would probably be the same coats um, i saw one like long duster cardigan had sold on poshmark for 600 yeah, I would love love to manifest that in my life, bring those to me. Um, I was watching a Becky Park video from earlier this year. I can't remember when she posted it, but I think she had found like two or three pieces of Magnolia Pearl and they sold really fast for her for a really great price. So definitely keeping my eye out for that. Next is Blundstone. Um, and this is primarily a boots brand. They might make other types of shoes as well, but I'm really looking for the boots specifically. $150 is like the average sale price for them on Poshmark. It's an Australia and Tasmania um, brand, so they're not super common to find over here. Um, but I do know people that have found them, so I would love to find them too. And I am keeping my eyes peeled for those and the bed stews. And I mean, yeah, the free birds too, even though they're not on this list because I didn't find them this year, I I'd still would love to find those. Next is Kenzo. This is kind of like a designery brand, but not super ultra luxury like Louis Vuitton or Gucci. I specifically want to find a sweater with the tiger logo on them. They make a lot of really nice and like funky sweaters. I saw a couple with like the evil eye on them. And again, like the Blundstone boots, $150 average sale price for sweaters can definitely be more and or less depending on what you have. Um, and this is a brand that's based in Paris. Yep, definitely would love to manifest that. Next, I don't exactly know how to say this. It looks like Zarina. It's X-I-R-E-N-A. You guys will have seen the logo here. Um, this brand is based in LA. And uh, basic tops can go for 50 plus, dresses 200 plus. Um, so not like super high, but I just, I've never found it and I've seen a couple local people to me find it 
and um, I want in on that action. And the last brand that I've never found is um, not related to clothing or shoes, similar to how I had Jelly Cat on the list for 2022. In 2023, I wanna find a Glassy Baby. If you're not familiar, Glassy Baby is like a votive candle holder, obviously made of glass. They have all different colors and all the different colors are named. Some are limited edition and they are super wildly trendy right now. They're like the Squishmallow of 2022. So I kind of want to find one soon and capitalize on them being trendy before they're not anymore. Um, but yeah, so far I haven't found them. Every time I see something that looks like it could be that in a in the hard goods section, I'm always flipping it over to look on the bottom to see if it is, and so far, no luck. And like I said, this year I have a bonus find, so I would like to find a Scream mask, a vintage one. So a vintage ghost face mask from the Scream franchise. There are two different brands that you wanna look out for, um, and they can go upwards of hundreds of dollars depending on what exactly you find. The first one is Easter Unlimited. This one seems to do a little bit better than the second one, and the second one is called Fun World. So you wanna look on the inside of your mask uh, because you know Scream has been out since, what, the 90s? So they've definitely been remade, um, and you want the vintage ones. So those are the two brands of Scream masks that you wanna look for in the inside of the masks when you find them. Um, I have a couple friends that found them this year, one of which was Chelsea at Monarch Alley. She does have a YouTube channel, um, and uh, I, I can't remember what she sold it for, but it sold, I think, fairly quickly for her, and I would love to find them. I introduced my daughter to the Scream franchise this year. She is obsessed with it. She loves it. She thought she, they were gonna be super scary until I explained that it's kind of supposed to be like a pun on scary movies, and they're not supposed to be actually scary. Um, and she 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 really loves them. We went to see Scream 2022 uh, earlier this year, and uh, yeah, she's she's big on those. We watched a few of them over the Halloween season as well. So yeah, that's everything I have for this video. Those are the brands that I would love to find in 2023. I know we still have a little bit of time left in 2022 that I could possibly find some of these um, from either this next year's or last year's list. And you know it's. I just wanted to get it out there because like I said, I want to manifest it. I'm putting it out in the universe and I'm hoping that it comes back to me. So if you have any brands that you would love to manifest this year, put them down in the comments on this video and get those out into the universe. I would love to see um, what brands you guys are on the lookout for, but that's it for today's video. If you like this at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.